Namaste. Welcome to Three Yoga. Today we're going to learn about Parshukonasana, side angle pose, in detail with the following key points: meaning of the asana, steps with breathing, adjustments, benefits, contraindications, and variations. Don't miss to watch this video till the end. Meaning of the Asana Parshva Konasana In Sanskrit, Parshva means side, Kona means angle, Asana means pose. In English, it's called side angle pose. Steps with breathing. Feet together. Stand in Tadasana. Hands on your waistline. With exhalation, feet apart by 4 to 4 and a half feet. Or as much comfortable from your side. Turn your right foot towards your right side. With exhalation, bend your right knee until your right thigh parallel to the floor and your knee perpendicular to the floor. With inhalation, lift your arms at the shoulder level, palms facing down. Now slowly gaze at your right fingertips. With exhalation, Lay the right side of your torso down onto the top of the right thigh. Press the right fingertips or your palm on the floor just outside of your right foot. And try to extend your left hand until your left biceps close to your ears and gaze at your fingertips. Maintain the final position from 30 seconds to 1 minute. With inhalation, Bring your arms parallel to the floor and gaze at the front and extend your knees slowly. Bring your hands on your waist and slowly turn your foot forward and close your feet together and relax in Shitila Tadasana. Adjustments of Pashvakonasana Adjustment number one, your knee should not cross over your toes. Adjustment number two, your left thigh should be parallel to the floor. Adjustment number three, your hip should be pushing forward, do not push it back. When you are coming towards the final position, make sure the angle between the knee should be in a 90 degree. And both the heels are in line with each other so that you will get a good balance in the final and the last position try to lengthen your whole right side of your body variations of Pashvakonasana variation number one bend your knees Extend your arms in line with the shoulder. Bring your right elbow on your right knee, palm facing up and the other hand towards the ceiling. Make sure your gaze should be at the front. Maintain the final position as long as possible from your side. Variation number two. Extend your arms. Bend your knees. Now with exhalation, bring your right palm beside your right inner feet and extend your left arm towards the ceiling. Make sure your gait should be at your left fingertips. Maintain the final position for as long as possible. Benefits of Pashvakonasana Number 1 Relieves stiffness in the shoulder and back. Number two, strengthens ankles, knees, and thighs. Number three, reduces fat around the waist and relieves sciatic and arthritis pains. Number four, increases peristaltic activity and aids in elimination. Contraindications of Pashvakona Asana This asana is strictly prohibited for people with 
injury of the knees, hips, shoulder and ankle, high or low blood pressure, any spinal injuries and insomnia. If you like our content in the video, hit the thumbs up. Share with your friends. Want to say something? Comment below and subscribe to our channel. And don't forget to press the bell icon.